uh, we spend $3.2 trillion on healthcare every year. That level of spending makes the US healthcare system the fifth largest economy in the world, behind only the national economies of the United States, China, Japan, and Germany. Now, one would think that since we spend far more on healthcare than any nation on the planet, that we would have far better health. But in fact, the opposite is true. And when we compare ourselves to peer nations, we're consistently less well, ranking near or at dead last on essentially all key metrics of individual and population health. Now, most people, when they suggest explanations for this problem, will blame the healthcare system for not being available or not being efficient or for not caring. And although those things may be true at some level and in some cases, I do not believe they're the fundamental problem. You see, I believe the fundamental problem is not that the healthcare system is not doing its job well or well enough. I believe the fundamental problem is that the job the healthcare system does, or could ever do, is not the job we most desperately need done. You see, because the healthcare system in America is not a healthcare system at all. It's a legacy sick care system engineered by physicians to help them do their jobs. To do the jobs of arriving at a diagnosis and developing a treatment plan. It's important work, it's essential work really, and arguably it's done better here than anywhere. But it is not in and of itself the work of creating health. The research that I do, uh, along with a fabulous group of colleagues, relates to describing and optimizing not the work that doctors and nurses do, but the work that patients and caregivers do. And what we find is startling. Not only do patients and caregivers need to do more than 99% of the work of managing and preventing illness in order to be well, but they typically need to do this work alone and with no pay and with essentially no systematic training or support. The deck is stacked against them. But it doesn't have to be. You see, for all of our biggest failures in the healthcare system, the management of chronic and physical and mental health conditions, the prevention of falls in the elderly, the promotion of activity and health in children, management of chronic pain, there are evidence-based and research-tested ways for patients, caregivers, and invested community partners to support one another in doing the work of creating health. I've studied these programs and interventions over the last two years, and I know that they work. <coughs> and they work in exactly the sort of way that sick care does not. And it's exactly what we need, but it's also what limits their implementation. See, you see, well care does not fit in a sick care system. And that's why I'm proposing that we engineer a well care system. A system to support the work that patients and caregivers do, a system based in communities, connecting workplaces and neighborhoods, churches and community centers and libraries, schools, but integrated with and supported by the existing sick care system. If you invite me back, I'll talk to you more about the, the well care system we're engineering here and the work that we're doing to scale it across the state and beyond. Thank you very much.